I'm here in Bradford on Avon by the beautiful Kennet and Avon Canal. But I'm not staying along the canal, I am doing today the Bradford and Avon outer circle of the walking wheel. The outer circle is a 25 mile loop around kind of all the surrounding areas of Bradford on Avon. So it starts, well, there is no start, it's, it's a loop. Um, but I'm starting here, Bradford on Avon Marina, um, the Boathouse Pub, we're just here, Bradford on Avon. This is the closest point that it goes to, um, to the middle of Bradford on Avon, and then it goes out through the surrounding villages. So I'm going to bring you on a journey to come and see what the beautiful countryside around this area shows you um, and what happens if you follow the green arrows around Bradford on Avon. Here we go, here's our first minor challenge. There's the footpath. It's a bit overgrown by rapeseed. So I'll do my best to get through. This is hard work, it's thick. And considering I'm only of my first mile, I already feel like my legs are getting a bit of a work out having to push through this. Not an ideal start. Right, nightmare field completed. Onto a nicer track now. Let's see if we can get going proper. First bit of climbing, just on the side of a road. Don't think we follow it for long before we hit a nice downhill bit of trail. All right, if we're doing styles count, this is style number one. All right, first major hurdle. Got a uh, fencing up and the route goes this way so gonna have to try and get over just the fence well, it's a worn track so people have used it but not ideal but we're over let's go Now, although a broken style, I'll take that as style number two. Might call this feature Gary Styles. Sounds like, sounds catchy. So that's two points for Gary Styles. Right, Gary Styles three. I'll be honest, I missed this fence first time. This field hasn't been the easiest to navigate the signs aren't very clear but hey hopefully it'll clear up not just be these first couple of fields we shall see you probably can't see them on here but there's hares running all over this field it's quite nice to see i'm obviously the first human to disturb them today cattle bread
dummy style as number four. Gary Styles number five and that's just put me in here so I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to climb over this one because it doesn't open I say about crowd in the morning morning ladies uh, number six in Gary Styles Here, it's our next marker. Hopefully, it'll be a bit nicer underfoot. There you go. Primary school Wingfield. We're just coming into Wingfield to the south of Bradford and Avon. Not a very big little village, but pretty. Unhelpfully, the next marker is on that fence, which if it's closed would have been helpful, but it was open so I couldn't even see it. But the next one is definitely clearer. Okay, I think I'm up to style 12 now. I really am struggling with the navigation here. It really isn't very good. Uh, no footpath to be seen to follow so I just found the owner of the field luckily they were out next to me when I was a bit lost at that style and they said yeah the route is straight across the field but there's no walkway it's just all plowed with crops um, so they've just gone, yeah, follow it, you're fine. So it's nice for us for mission, but surely there's a problem right away. Should be a clearer footpath than having to run through this. On the plus side, double style. So the Harry Styles, Gary Styles, 14. Now Wetfield. What is that? Just going through another field with no footpath at all. Now this is my route. There's no over, so I'd have to try and go under. Whatever that is. Ridiculous. I'll be wholly honest. What I thought was going to be a lovely beautiful Sunday morning run turning into a bit of a dog's dinner. Let's cheer up. Let's hope it gets better. Just a start. It's been a stink. I'm at Stoford Farm. Are you joking me? Another field I can't get through. I'm not very far off quitting this run. Really. It's, it's not enjoyable. Maybe a different time of year? I don't know. But at the moment, I'm on 0% enjoyment. I'm not far from hitting Avoncliff and Westwood. And from there, it's quite a short detour back to the car. Because I'm not sure I can do another 19 miles of this.
Now I've got here, and I know where I'm supposed to go because I'm looking at my map. But if you're doing it with the green markers, nothing. 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 Right, there's one the other way. So if you come the other way, you got it. This way, if it's buried in there, you've not got a chance. Cat and house chance of seeing it. Uh, there's nothing out on the road. So that, I understand. Over this way. Now we're here. Which one? Which one? You tell me. So I've got two paths now. Nothing labelled. Well, one bonus. It's been cut. So I'm not battling through that. That was quite nice. Avoncliff Aqueduct. Looking pretty in the sunshine. We are going underneath. I know this bit very well. This is one of my usual lunchtime routes from work, so I know this bit. I know this hill is steep. We go, Avoncliff. Looking beautiful this morning. But now we're going uphill towards Windsley. Now just come up the hill towards Windsley. Again, nice big junction. Style, I oh, saw gate, gate, path, path. I found the sign. Thankfully, now I know the signs are up there to help us, and sometimes what happens to them is beyond your control once they go up. But That's the one, if you're coming from that way. But mine has been completely rubber piped in on top of here. So I can only assume I'm going that way. Nice house, eh? I do like little trails like this. I like when they're downhill. They're still pretty going up. So what I need a pint after this. Maybe just to cheer me up a little bit. Windsy. Looking lovely. Ooh, this way. And if it's not bad enough. You now have all the local village flyers blocking all of them. I've just had to pull that one off just to see that arrow. So I'm now here. The sign suggests that way. I've just gone that way, but I've gone down there. So I'm looking for that path. So it's not in there. So seriously. That uh, maybe I'm just not thinking straight anymore. That wasn't easy. I mean, it's a beautiful path, and on a happier day, I'd enjoy it. 
Not today. So I'm now about 12k in and it's taken me one hour 15 to do 12k and I'm stopping. Um, so there's still, what have I done? Seven and a half miles, there's still 18, 17 miles of this to do. Um, I'll come back another day. But I'm here now at a point where I can hit the canal and get back to my car in a few miles. Um, after that we go quite a way up north and quite a long way from the middle of Bradford. So now is the time to bail. Uh, I'm about a kilometre away from Ravencliff and then a few more back to the car. So this isn't the end, Bradford and Avon walking wheel, but you've got me today. Um, the enjoyment is gone. I'm uh, just going to go, go back home, see how I've done today and come back maybe later in the year when the fields are ploughed, see how we do. That's the last arrow that I would have followed. I'm going the opposite way. <laughs>